Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. In today's video, we are doing a little bit of good old fashioned self sabotage. My skin recently has been doing pretty well. Uh, and so I've decided to do this video and realistically screw it up entirely. I don't know why I do that. Is it like some sort of like past trauma thing? Who knows? But today I'm doing a full face using old expired makeup. And by old, I don't just mean slightly out of date. I'm talking, there are products here that are no longer with us. And there are products here that are probably like five years out of date. As you guys know, I recently decluttered all of my makeup. And while I was doing that, I came across some old gems, like literally like very, very old gems. Like they've got their bus pass ready. They're already playing chess. And so for some reason, I decided to put all of those products in a box and uh, I'm gonna put them on my face today and see how they perform, what they're like, because a lot of these products used to be my old favorites. So yeah, pray for my skin. Um, let's do it. I really question a lot of things in my life sometimes. I mean, it's not quite doing my makeup with a chicken nugget. That was a weird stage of my life. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I do these things to myself. Content. So the first product I'm using today is the Fasali Rose Gold Elixir. You guys may remember this product. It was everywhere back in the day. And I believe the brand itself like kind of took a hiatus and I think they're back actually. The packaging has changed. Um, honestly, look how disgusting this is. Like, I, I don't, bleh. I'm like struggling to even open it right now. I will use excessive force. <gasps> We're in. Oh, the pipette's not even really working anymore. And the product looks kind of normal. It's not gonna be, but I'm gonna put some drops of that on my hand. Yep, smells terrible. Oh my God, this actually smells like chip fat. This stuff normally smells good. It literally smells like chip fat. Slather it on anyway. So yeah, this stuff used to be amazing back in the day and they have, I think it's literally like the same product. It's slightly different packaging, but they have brought it out again. Um, and I may pick up another one because I did used to like it a lot. I mean, it does just look like I have applied chip fat all over my face. Um, okay, I don't really have much to say about that. Oh, the smell. And if you think I'm doing a freaking wear test with this, no. This is coming right off my face as soon as I'm done. Next, I'm going in with this concealer here from Model Zone, which is no longer with us. And this used to be such a good dupe for the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm using it in the shade Medium. Oh. Just, just squirted at me. Just gonna squeeze out some of the excess there. And I used to apply this with my finger. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not normally too fussy with slightly expired products, especially if they're like powders or something. Creams though, they can get a little bit uh, chip fatty. Yeah, this concealer has intense coverage. Or at least it used to, like back in the Stone Ages. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna go around my nose a bit. I mean, it's not applying too bad. I still wanna scrape it off my face, but it's, it's not too bad. I'm gonna slightly blend this out with my brush. Now I'm gonna go in with this concealer here from Bourjois and as of like a few weeks ago, Bourjois wasn't here anymore, but I went into Superdrug the other day and they had a Bourjois stand and it sent the Healthy Mix Foundations coming back. They had loads of products and I think this has actually made a return as well. This one is again, way too old. But yeah, very excited about that. Let me know if you guys want like an updated bourgeois testing video. Cause I used to love their base products especially. So I'm gonna fill in. I mean, it's actually applying quite nicely to be honest. And again, I'm just gonna blend all of that out. This is actually applying quite nicely. This one wasn't too old. So, but yeah, this is actually applying all right. I'm still throwing it out, don't get me wrong, but I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. And even though I'm like self-sabotaging myself right now, I am gonna try and make this look as good as I can. But I don't think that's looking too bad. What do you guys think? Don't do it. Like, don't do this to yourself, but it could be worse. Next, to warm myself up a little bit, I'm going in with a product that I don't even know how old this is. I just know that it's probably one of the older products out of the bunch. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I have it in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I used to use this all the time for contour. Like before I even really knew what contouring was, I would use this. Oh my God, it literally just like, uh, uh. They actually still make this product and I haven't tried it in a really long time. So I might pick up a fresh one and see what I think, but I'm gonna pop some of that here and just warm myself up a bit with that. The color's quite nice. 
Gonna bronze my cheeks up a little bit. This seems pretty normal so far. It doesn't seem too bad at all. Good on the sides of my nose. This isn't looking too bad. I think I'll probably get another one of these at some point because if it's performing like this and it's like 87,000 years old, um, I think I might quite like it as, you know, a brand new product. So I might pick this up. I think it's like four pounds or something. I don't think I used to like this as an actual concealer. I don't remember loving it that much, but a little bit of contour. <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't expecting to necessarily like much from this video, but I might get another one. I do think the rose gold cooking oil is helping everything to blend out. My face might stink, but at least it's looking blended. I'm gonna get that on a t-shirt. I'm gonna make merch saying that. So I don't have an out of date powder to use, so I'm just gonna go in with my Huda Beauty one. Do the under eyes. For a lot of these products, this powder wasn't even made at the same time they were around. I'm sitting here thinking like, what other terrible video can I do? Now I've got like cooking oil in the brain. I'm. Ugh. Steph, don't put cooking oil on your face, don't do it. My ADHD brain is just sort of like, what weird things can I do? Like, let's see what it's like, but I don't need to do that, do I? I don't, talk me out of it, please. I won't lie, this actually isn't looking too bad. I feel like this is a fail video waiting to happen, but it's actually kind of working out. Next, I'm going in with one of the most expensive bronzers that I've ever come across. In fact, it might actually be the most expensive bronzer. Uh, I have, it literally looks like I have crap all over my hands right now. Just wipe that off. It's not very aesthetically pleasing, is it? But this is the Rodeo Insta Glam Bronzer in the shade 02. And this retails for 52 pounds. And I actually barely used this. I liked it originally, and then I found so many better bronzers. This one for me, I don't know, it's just a little bit kind of dull looking on the skin. So I'm just bronzing myself up a little bit with that. You guys know, I'm all for like expensive bougie makeup. I love it. I think I probably do prefer more affordable makeup, but I also do love some more luxury expensive stuff. But 52 pounds for a bronzer, like what are you giving me that is worth 52 pounds? It's bronzing me up a touch, but yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It shouldn't be bad, 52 pounds, but it's not good. I didn't even like it that much when it was new. Packaging's good quality, but again, 52 pounds. I kind of fell out of love with this very, very quickly. Like I tried it and I was like, oh my God, expensive bronzer, it must be amazing. And I like convinced myself that it was good. It's not that good. It's fine, but it's expensive, which means that it's not fine. I'm now gonna go in with this Sigma blush. I actually think they still do this, but it's like different packaging. This is the Sigma Corderosa blush. This was one of the first blushes I ever got. Other than the like a bourgeois one or something, this was the first kind of like slightly more high-end blusher that I had. And I used to wear this all the time. I feel like a lot of the time powder products, they do kind of last pretty well. Like I'm really not too fussy when it comes to powder products like that. So I'm expecting these to work pretty well still. I'm gonna add quite a bit of blush. That was fine. It's a really, really nice blusher as well. If you guys haven't tried this out and you're in the market for a new blusher, the Sigma ones are really nice and the shade Corderosa, this one here, is really, really pretty. I would probably get that again. Next, we move on to highlighter and I have this one here from Pure. It's their Afterglow. And I think this is my first ever highlighter, like ever. This is where the obsession began. So let's give this a swatch. So it looks like that. It looks a lot more subdued than the highlighters that I use these days, but I remember it being so pretty on the skin. So I'm gonna take some of this, pop it on my cheeks, and let's see what all of the hype was about back in the day. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Maybe a little bit of texture on my skin, but... I feel like I'm so used to reviewing products, but I really shouldn't be reviewing them in this video. It's not exactly giving them a fair shot, is it? Yeah, look. It's like, it's intense, but it's quite a soft focus glow. It's not like super metallic. Again, I would probably get that again. And I know they do still do this. Again, it's just in slightly different packaging. It's actually really, really nice. I'm now gonna use this product here from NYX. This is the Tinted Brown Mascara, and I used this back when I was doing the face awards. 
I miss doing the Nick's Face Awards. I really want to do something again that kind of like takes me out of my comfort zone. Obviously I did locked in, but I want to do something a bit more like makeup y related. I would love to go on Glow Up. I would absolutely love that. Um, let's make it happen, shall we? Anyone from uh, production watching? I would love that. The skill that people have these days is absolutely insane. So I'm sure I would get kicked out like during the first round if I ever even made it on. But um, yeah, would love to do that. Yeah, I just want to do something again that like takes me out of my comfort zone. So this is a tinted brow gel, which I never use anymore because I feel like my eyebrows just don't really need much doing to them. It's made my eyebrows look so much thicker and I'm using this in the shade Espresso. Let me know by the way, what products you guys used to be obsessed with years ago. My eyebrows look so dark and so thick and all I did was put a little bit of that through. I don't really use tinted brow gels that much anymore. If I do, it's literally just something like Gimme Brow just to add a little bit of fullness in certain places. Uh, so I don't know if I'd buy this again, but if you are in the market for a tinted brow gel, this one is actually decent. I'm now gonna use the Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. And as you can see, this is very, very dried out. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get much from it anymore. Give it a little mix. Oh no, maybe I am, okay. Pink eye pending. But again, this was like the OG. It's really, really good at blanking out your lids. My chin burning. I feel like my chin's kind of like itching. Quick, let's get through this video. Hello? I mean, it's still doing its thing. Now for my eyes, I'm gonna be using this palette here from Lottie London, which is no longer available. And this, I wanna say is maybe five or six years old. It's the Believe in Your Selfie face and eye palette. And this actually launched when I think Lottie London first launched as a brand. You've got six eyeshadows and then three face powders. I'm gonna try a bit of this highlighter here called Good To Glow. Cute, it's a little bit crumbly, but that's fine. I'm gonna start by taking this shade here called Slay. Right in the crease. I've actually never used the shade Fire. So, I mean, if there was ever a day to use it, it's right now. Press that all over my lid. I mean, it doesn't really look like much. Oh, it's nice and crumbly. What if I use my finger? I was expecting that and instead I've just got like a bit of mud on my eye. Gonna take a bit of swag. The names in this palette is so funny. Swag, Best Bay, Slay and Fire. Lottie London's eyeshadows now are so much better than this. Back then though, I literally just used to use like this kind of color and that was pretty much it. Yeah, there's like nothing going on there right now, is there? Nothing. I'm gonna take a bit of Beach Bum and run that through my crease as well. Let's try a bit of Best Bay. It's like a copper. That looks slightly better, but it's still like not there. Makeup has seriously come such a long way since these products came out. A little bit of highlighter on the inner corner. Next, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. This, I don't even know how old this is. Again, like, I don't know if it's like kind of recent, kind of not. I feel like they maybe brought this out three years ago. I might be totally wrong here, but either way, this is very, very old. And I'm always a little bit like skeptical with really old mascaras, but it has a nice spiky plastic wand. And I'm pretty sure you can't get this anymore. Nice and dry. What was I, what was I really expecting to be honest? It smells like dirt. Like literally, I'm not just trying to be rude, it literally smells like dirt. I think that's probably the best we're gonna get out of that mascara right now. I'll let you guys know if I go blind in the next video. Stay tuned. I mean, could look worse. Next to my lips, I have the Ciate Magic Pout Potion. This is like a lip primer, I think. So I'm gonna pop that on. It seems pretty normal. I think the idea is it just kind of like hydrates your lips a little bit and also kind of tries to get rid of some of the lines. Oh, it's like fully mattified my lips down. Look at that. And then for my liner, I'm using another one from Rodeo. And again, I think this is like one of my first ever lip liners. I'm gonna give it a good sharpen. This one here is in the shade Baby. I used to use this all of the time. Doesn't even wanna sharpen. It's like, Steph, please don't use me. And I'm like, I will persevere. But it's like this 
really quite nice neutral nude. I'm gonna line my lips with that. Oh, it's very like peachy almost. I used to wear this all the time and it's not, hang on, the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm kind of like, it's quite a nice nude. But I don't know why I was so like obsessed with this lip liner. Again, I think it's literally because of the fact that I was a student and I got sent a bunch of rodeo makeup. So I was like, oh my God, expensive makeup. It must be amazing. It's all right. I quite actually quite like the color, but you can get lip liners for like a pound from like Primark, 17, whatever. Mm. I mean, I suppose they discontinued this maybe for a reason because it, I don't know, it doesn't really do much. So I think all that's left to do now is finish off my lips. So I have these two here from ColourPop, they're the Ultra Matte Lip. I love ColourPop liquid lipsticks, always have done. They are quite drying. I think they, I think they've slightly changed the formula and I prefer the satin matte lip now. We've got the shade Bianca and then some random shade that I don't know what it is because the stick is gone. Let's do this one. It's all nice and like, Separated, gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, exactly what I want on my mouth. It smells kind of normal to be honest, it doesn't smell too bad. Oh my god, it's so thick. And that is what she said. Can you see like, it just, the way it's dragging on my lips. Let's give it a little mix. This one by the way is in the shade Bianca. Oh, got a nice crusty little flake going there. I feel like I'm just smearing like, butter on my lips right now. There's the fail we were looking for. I'm gonna give you guys a nice sexy close up. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? I especially like all the chunks here. I really, really like that. Isn't that nice? Wow, luscious lips. Okay. I don't know why, but I'm gonna go do the other eye and then I'll show you guys the masterpiece. And on what kiss? All right guys, so this is the finished look. I can't lie, I was actually expecting it to be a lot worse than this. Like the eye makeup's kind of neither here nor there. There's not really much going on to comment on. The skin, which normally I feel like would be the most disastrous, actually looks the best out of everything. My face hasn't started peeling yet, so that's a good sign. But the best bit for me has to be the lips. I mean, they look flawless, kissable, juicy. There's like, there's a lot of textures going on right now. Obviously this video was just a little bit of fun, but you know what? I think I am actually gonna purchase a few products that I use today, but like the new version. I definitely think I'm gonna be picking up another one of the LA Girl Pro concealers in this shade because it was actually a really, really nice cream bronzer. The Bourjois Concealer, I think I will do a full face of like testing new Bourjois makeup, so I'll probably get another one of those. And the Pure Afterglow Highlighter. This actually looks really, really pretty on the skin once it's all settled down especially. And Pure's a really, really nice brand. I don't really feel like anyone talks about them anymore, but they are really, really good brands. And you know what? As terrible as it looks right now, I was actually just on the ColourPop website and I think they've got free shipping to the UK. I don't know how long that's for, but either way, I might make another ColourPop order. Like somehow these crusty lips have inspired me to do another ColourPop order. So if there's anything you guys want me to try out from there, let me know and I'll make sure I order it up. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, especially of the juicy, beautiful, kissable lips. Uh, was there anything that surprised you today? Were you expecting there to be any kind of fails and maybe there wasn't? I really don't think it looks that bad. Like if I, if I just took away the lips, I actually feel like it looks like pretty standard makeup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to all the products. We had some great memories together, but it's time to throw you into the bin and like probably put like a hazmat suit on or something. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time and make sure you check out all the links down below. I'm gonna be linking as many things as I can. Uh, just in case this inspired you to pick up any of these products, trust me, the, the actual like non-old versions will most likely work a lot better than this. But yeah, I'll leave all links down below alongside links to my TikTok, Instagram, all of that. Make sure you follow me on TikTok Talk, I'm posting pretty much every day at the moment. I'm pretty sure I just ate one of the little flakes on my lips, so that's fun. I'm gonna go give my face a double, triple, quadruple, octuple cleanse. I'm just gonna go and wash the hell out of my face and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.